Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel for the one year review. I knew I wanted to film this video, but I it's like still sinking in that I've been making YouTube videos for a year. <sighs> anyway, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you are taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you are new, welcome. If you've been here for a while, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for, again, taking the time out of your day to do so. Like the title of this video says, I am doing a one year in review for this channel. And it's not gonna be some crazy, like, numbers skyrocketed and it's changed my life, although it kind of has a little way, but it's still something that's just crazy to me to think about. One year ago, the very first video that I uploaded was a vlog that I made of Thanksgiving Day 2017. And Thanksgiving 2018, the time that I'm filming this right now, is just a couple of days away. I mean, I know, I know this video is going up a couple days after Thanksgiving, but it's still just crazy to think about how much I've grown, how many new types of videos I've tried, and just how much fun I have had with this channel. I had a whole, like, list of, like, things written down that I wanted to, like, talk about, and I had, like, a whole, like, script thing set up that I was going to read off of, and this was gonna be all professional and scripted because I tried to do that for some videos, and the more I thought about filming this, the more I thought, I don't wanna say any of that, actually. I just want to talk to you guys, whoever happens to watch this video, and to say thank you and to bring you along so you can also see how this channel has changed and grown and just where it started and what it looks like a year after that. So I have my YouTube channel pulled up on the computer over here just so I can look over and give like all of the dates and everything and make sure it's as accurate as possible. But the very first video that I posted, like I said, was a vlog for Thanksgiving Day last year, 2017. And I posted that, it went live on YouTube on November 28th. So technically, November 28th is my one year anniversary. And I started my channel essentially because I saw different vloggers on YouTube like Lily Singh, like Zoe Sugg, Alfie Days, all of those people. I watched their vlogs and I loved the format that it was and I think it was one of Zoe's videos that I was watching and she mentioned how she loves when she has the time going back and watching vlogs that she's posted from years ago and just how many memories are captured in those videos that she had forgotten about and just how it's how vlogging is such a wonderful way to capture those memories and it's a great way to store them essentially so you can go back and look at them and relive them and just enjoy all of those moments again and when she said that i thought yeah that really is an awesome way to do that and so i thought i want to give this a try and if you know me, you know I cannot make decisions quickly if it's anything relatively large. So I thought about starting a YouTube channel and vlogging for months before I even mentioned the idea to Dan. And when I did finally mention it to Dan, it took another few months before I convinced myself that that was something I really wanted to do. And when I finally did, Thanksgiving was coming around and I thought this is a perfect opportunity to try out this, this type of like journaling essentially, if you will, it's just a form of video journaling. I went ahead and I did that and as soon as I filmed it, it was a little awkward at first because obviously I had never done anything like that before, but when I filmed it and then I sat down to edit it, I immediately fell in love and I thought I love this, I love filming this, I love editing this, which is something I did not expect. Did not expect to enjoy editing as much as I do, but I love it. And I thought, I wanna do this again. So then a couple weeks later, I was getting together with some friends and we were gonna go ice skating and I thought this would be a great time to vlog. And both of my friends, Aaron and Kristen, who are in that very second vlog that I posted, both of them were all like, oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Let's do, let's be in the vlog. Which, so their support was huge to me because if they were like, 
Julie, that's a stupid idea. Why are you doing that? Like, no, I don't want to be a part of that. Then 100% I probably wouldn't have kept going because I would have been like, oh, my friends think this is dumb. So I'm not gonna embarrass myself further. But both of them were full, like, yeah, that's so cool, let's do it. So shout outs to them because their support is what also kept me going, doing this. So I went ahead and I filmed, it was over several days that I filmed that vlog and just put together a bunch of different little things that we did throughout that day and I loved that. And then the next video that I filmed was when we went to Repticon and up until this point it was just different events that were happening that I was like, oh yeah, I'll film this thing that we're doing. And the more I got to doing that, the more I got to thinking like, I think I want to try, if I'm going to have a YouTube channel, even if it's not like a million people are subscribed to it or anything like that, like I want this to be something that's consistent, that I can upload consistently, that the people who are subscribed can know when to expect a video and that it is consistent and they don't, they're not going to forget, <clears throat> excuse me, that they're not going to forget about my uploads because they know they can expect a video every Sunday and every Wednesday. So then after doing those kind of vlogs where I was just filming different like events that happened essentially, then we, Dan and I went to Alabama to visit some family and I thought, I want to give a go at daily vlogging. So I did that when we were in Alabama on vacation and every single day of the trip I filmed and then every single night in the hotel room I edited and I uploaded and it worked out because all of the videos are fairly short and I'm glad that I tried the daily vlogging style but I also am glad that I learned early on that that is not something I want to do because that is a lot of energy every single day and a lot of time every single day spent on editing and I can't spare that kind of time right now. Then I thought why don't I give a try to weekly vlogging which is what I've been doing ever since. So ever since back in January, I think it was, it started as early as January, I have been posting a weekly vlog every single Sunday of the week prior. So my vlogs are Sunday through Saturday and they get posted the very next Sunday. So it's just week after week after week. And that style seems to work really well because if something really exciting is going on, I can make sure to film it and capture it. And then if there's a couple days that are really slow and I don't really vlog those days, that's okay as well because then the exciting stuff sort of balances it out and so on. But so I've been doing that style every single week since about January, so almost a year. And that works really, really well for me and I really enjoy doing that. And then at the very end of February, I made my very first video that wasn't a vlog. And that was actually me sewing a teddy bear pattern for the very first time. And I had a ton of fun making that. And that was also the time that I realized I want to make more videos and more interesting content that isn't just vlogs. And so after that, I experimented with doing a puppy compilation of just different puppies that came into the salon that I work at. And that video is actually currently my number one most viewed video on my channel with a whopping 164 views. <laughs> and then in April, on April 1st, I knew I wanted to make a video because April 1st and Easter fell on the same day. And I thought, I can't pass up this opportunity to make a video about April Fool's pranks that are Easter themed. So Dan helped me with that and he was a wonderful sport about it because I was not the most organized because I didn't really know what I was doing. And that was the very first skit type video that I ever posted. And that was heavily influenced by the YouTuber Lily Singh. All of the like videos that I'm mentioning and all of the content creators that I mentioned, the YouTubers that I mentioned, I'm gonna put all of their information in the description below. So if you wanna check any of them out, you can, or if you wanna see any of the other videos that I'm talking about, you can. And there'll also be cards going in the corner, I think there, will they be over there? I think, I don't quite know the screen that well yet. I feel like I should, but I don't. 
And when I started my channel, it was actually originally called Julie Schuler Vlogs because the my original intention was to just vlog, just do vlogging things. And if I wanted to film other stuff, that I would make a second channel and that would be for other content that was not vlogs. And I decided fairly soon into the channel that it wouldn't have made sense to have two different channels when I was so small of a creator and it just it wouldn't have worked out well so I decided just to keep everything on the same channel and that's why a few months after making my channel I actually changed the name to Julie Schuler videos which is what it is now and that I thought would be good because then if people are searching and they see that Julie Schuler videos can encompass all sorts of different things, whereas Julie Schuler vlogs is very narrow focused and you look at that and you're like, oh, she does vlogs and that's it. So in order to try to reach as many people as I can, I thought it wisest to go with that name change. So that is why it is called what it is currently, but it did used to have another name. And then on August 1st is when I decided to actually start uploading weekly for not vlog type videos. So ever since then, I have been posting every single Wednesday a not vlog type video. And I say not vlog because those videos, my Wednesday videos kind of span all over the place. And I don't have a set format that I use for those because those are purely experimenting with whatever I wanna try, whether that be cooking or whatever and I, I don't want to limit myself on those because my Wednesday videos are my videos to be creative and to experiment and to find things that I like to do and things that I don't like to do, but I filmed the process of learning I didn't like to do them. So that's August, September, October, November, almost four months now that I've been doing that. And I have a lot of fun with that. That does take up a lot of my time because those videos a lot of times are more labor intensive and require a lot more planning, whereas a video like this for when, for my Wednesday video, I'm just sitting down in front of my couch talking to you in my living room. And it's not that labor intensive, it doesn't take that long to film, but some of the other videos take a really long time to film. For example, one of the videos that I have on this channel that I am probably the most proud of is my If I Were a Crazy Dog Mom. And that I filmed, it took a lot of planning, a lot of thinking it over, but I was watching Micah, the German Shepherd, and I thought, I wanna make a video with him. And so I put together all of this content and I filmed it all and it took like two days to film. And then I had to get another scene with Kristen that I couldn't get somewhere else. And so I had to film that then on like a third day. And then I had to go back home and edit it all and splice it all together. And it took like a week altogether to do. And I was just, I'm very proud with how that video turned out. So that's essentially how I've been doing with my channel. Where I am right now as of the one year mark filming this video, I'm currently at 42 subscribers. So it's not that many people, but I am so thankful for every single one of you 42 people who are willing to subscribe, who are willing to watch my videos, who are willing to give the feedback on them. Because although I really don't think my channel is ever going to get to the point of being like huge and a million subscribers and crazy big, it's still a huge blessing to have you guys who are willing to comment on my videos and give me feedback and answer the questions that I ask in the videos because I don't just ask them for the heck of it. I ask them because I genuinely want your feedback and I genuinely want to learn more and to learn from you guys and to learn who you are because there's people subscribed that I don't personally know you and I would love to get to know you more. Thank you for taking the time to watch the videos, to comment on them, to like them, to share them, to all of that stuff. So I appreciate that and I appreciate you. Like I said earlier, my most viewed video currently is that puppies compilation. My next most viewed video is the getting my first tattoo when I got this and I bring you through the entire process of when I got that tattoo and I had a ton of fun filming that and I can guarantee you that would not have been a video I would have been comfortable with filming earlier in my channel life 
that it is just recently in the past like month or so that I've gotten more comfortable with filming in front of other people and like pulling out my phone and recording things in front of strangers or even just in front of other people that I don't normally film with because Russ who did my tattoo he's my cousin I know him and it was still I wouldn't have been I wouldn't have I would have been like super self-conscious of filming in front of him six months ago so I am so thankful that this channel has helped me come out of my little introvert shell and has helped me become a little more confident in myself and has helped me to sort of stop caring so much of what other people around me think and that if I just pull out my phone and start talking to it yeah people are gonna look at me like I'm weird because that's not a normal thing to do but I don't mind as much and I'm still learning that but it's coming and I'm very thankful that it's coming because it is helping me grow as a person and it is helping me to make new friends and to grow relationships and it is just a wonderful thing. So thank you for bearing with me through this whole video. I would love to hear your feedback. I would love for you to tell me when you first started watching my channel, when, what videos you've watched that you liked, what sort of styles of videos do you like. I would love to find out how you found my channel. If you're one of my friends who I have nudged and been like, hey, you should watch my channel. Or if you found me through a search engine or if you found me through Facebook or any of those things, I would love to hear how you got here. <laughs> Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed seeing what it's like one year after I started a channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you're watching this and you aren't subscribed yet, you need to do that because it takes literally a half a second and all I have to do is just go, oh look, click, done, done, that's it. I feel very blessed to be able to do this and to be able to create and to be able to express myself in this way through videos and just being creative that way. And I feel like if I didn't have friends and family and the 42 subscribers that I do have that are like, yeah, I like this, this is cool, I'll keep watching. I don't think I would be as encouraged to keep going as I am. So thank you guys very, very much for watching and for being encouraging and I will hopefully see you next week. Bye.